who else are we talking about? I think Robert, I think Ronald Blair will have a surprisingly good season if healthy. Well, if healthy, that's the caveat. And I don't really know how he's going to come back from an ACL tear, but it seems like medical technology improves every year. And I, I want to say something about Ronald Blair because if he never is the same, it would be a shame that he didn't get his due now. Because last year before he tore his ACL, he, as you guys know, I do these coaches tape breakdowns. And I really watched these players very closely in slow motion and in the case of the offensive and defensive linemen from the end zone. So I see exactly what they're doing. And I was impressed with Ronald Blair in every game. He's not as good of a pass rusher as Nick Bosa or D Ford or Eric Armstead, which is why he was a fifth round pick. He's not naturally gifted like that, but he is technically perfect. Everything the Niners coach their defensive ends to do, he does right. And you see that in run defense. He's never fooled. He's never fooled by an end around. He never gives up the edge. He plays through the whistle. I felt when he was healthy, he was the 49ers best run defending defensive end, better than Armstead, better than Bosa. Bosa and Armstead can get fooled a little bit on reverses, end arounds, misdirection stuff, not Blair. Blair is disciplined. Blair is polished. Blair's an asset. I totally get why they brought him back, and I hope he's healthy um, because he was a lot of fun to watch. Hey, nothing against Eric Armstead, but I pointed it out in many of my film breakdowns last year. Bosa, too. Just losing sight of your like contain, backside contain. You think the ball's going away from you. Oh, reverse your direction. Bootleg your direction from the quarterback. Why do you think all those bootlegs worked week 16 from the Rams? Because Armstead and Bosa are a little undisciplined. They're excellent players. A little undisciplined. Better players than Ronald Blair. But what Ronald Blair has going for him is discipline. So he's useful to this team. He has a skill set that's needed. A really nice guy who can play, not, not a really good player who can play 25, 30, 35 snaps a game with no drop off and improve your run defense. Yeah, but you do not give them enough credit for their strength in the points. Oh my goodness. Eric Armstead and, and Nick Bosa might be the two strongest defensive ends at the point of attack. Robert Sala called Nick Bosa maybe the strongest defensive end in the league, which is amazing. He's like 22. So absolutely. What I say is they, they're a little bit like horses with blinders on. They get real caught up in, in run defense with just pile driving the dude in front of them. And sometimes they're a little late to react to the misdirection. Fix it with experience. Fix it with experience. Mac is stronger. Yeah, I agree. Okay. We've got 35 minutes in. I think this has been an effective periscope so far. Nick learns though. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not knocking Nick. I'm just saying where I'm just describing where he's at in his development and why I like Ronald Blair, why he added something to that rotation last year. He did add something. And I think he was probably coaches can point to Ronald Blair and say, Nick, this is how it's done. Run. I mean, you're, you're, you're a natural as a pass rusher. This is how it's done against the run. It looks exactly, it's supposed to look exactly like that. You can do that. And I'm sure Nick Bosa would say, would agree. Like, Got it. Yep. That looks right. I can do that. I'll learn. 